The recent Black Lives Matter protests have motivated a group of local students to stand against what they say amounts to racism at their school. Matriculants from Bishop's Diocesan College in Cape Town say they've had enough of institutionalized racism at the school. Since Friday's demonstration, pupils around the country have also raised concerns on social media about issues of inequality. Ian says Ronald Masinda has got this report. We finally just like, reached our tipping point and decided that the only way that we were going to change anything or make it stop is to speak out. Racism and discrimination in general at Bishops has been a problem for decades. Um, and just in 2015, uh, that matric group wrote a, a letter with testimonials about the issues of discrimination at Bishops. And there has been very little action from our executive. Bishops is one of the most sought-after schools, with school fees costing around 160,000 rand a year. But reports of racial discrimination are doing the rounds, with a group of students submitting a list of 20 demands to the school. The complainants prefer to hide their identities. But they say their grievances pertain to a wide variety of issues involving some pupils, parents and teachers. I've spoken to about 85 old bishops, pupils of colour who, who share similar experiences, you know, and, and we're talking to each other because we have shared pain that, that we have struggled to deal with alone. Students want to see a radically changed policy around race at the school. It's a sentiment that the Western Cape Education Department supports and is willing to engage in. In terms of independent schools, I would hope that they would also follow along with us on this process. Bishop's outgoing headmaster has said in a media statement that they will engage with pupils this week to address the issues. Many independent schools in the country have been blamed for systemic racism, but it appears very little has been done about it. Pupils here say their demands are to ensure that the 171-year-old school does away with discrimination so that all students can enjoy the privileges of learning in one of the country's most prestigious schools. Ronald Masinda, Cape Town.